Workers at Asheville's Postal Distribution Center get word that they believe shows a depressing course for their future. News 13's Russ Bowen joins us to explain. Russ? Well, Darcel, some 200 postal workers thought they had more time to figure out what lies ahead. Postal employees have been bracing for a bleak future after being told that the closure of the Asheville Distribution Center would take place in the fall of 2014. But they say a recent letter causes them to believe things are happening faster than planned. It's just really depressing down there. It's all doom and gloom and, you know, I wish management would uh, be more positive and say, hey, let's do something to try to save the Asheville plant instead of trying to destroy it all. Employees have been told they have the option of applying for jobs at a facility within 100 miles or taking an early retirement package if they qualify, which many don't. And we want Western North Carolina jobs, you know, we want to stay here. We don't want to drive. It's uh, about 65 miles down to Greenville. You know, no one can do that on a daily basis. You would either have to make the decision to either move down there, which, you know, it's just a very upsetting. Union Representative Joanne Guest says the 2006 Postal Enhancement Act, which requires the Postal Service to prepay 75 years of its pension fund, is a big cause of the problem. And she believes moving distribution to Greenville will affect your mail service. It's going to maybe sit there for a day. You know, of course, Greenville probably will work their mail first and then get to Asheville when they want. We won't have a local postmark anymore. And the Postal Service says the notification is not related to the redistribution plan and they are not escalating the timeline on the plan for the closure. And the future of the redistribution center is due to the decline in mail.